Hi, this is Dr. Martina, your online sex therapist. I think we can all agree that this pandemic that we are hopefully slowly stepping out of um, impacted the sex lives, the people's sex life all over the world. Um, we were left alone. There was a lot of me time, a lot of reflecting on wellness, including sexual wellness, especially for a single people. A lot of invert time and all of that had an impact on the current dynamics of the sexual wellness market. There are three shares to the sexual wellness market, so just to understand what we're talking about here is, and that is um, vibrators, um, sex toys, 78% of which mostly are vibrators. There's a lot of vibrators that are being bought. Um, there are also other sex toys are rubber, rubber to penises, of course. Then we have about 15% of contraception and about 7% of personal lubrication. Now those are the shares of the sexual well market. Now this market is estimated to reach $37.2 billion worldwide by 2023. That's only two years away. So um, you may ask who is behind this uh, revolutionary sexual wellness retail market? Well, women. And let me introduce you to some of them, their company and what they stand for and what they produce. The OSE is the first product that Laura's company produced. It's a very exciting product. It is a massager because it doesn't vibrate. It offers a stroking motion arouse, which arouses the G-spot in the internal erogenous zone. And it offers an airflow technology that creates the sensation of stroking and sucking for the external stimulation with 10 intensity settings. This does sound exciting. I may have to get myself some one of those. I probably will. Laura De Carlo had planned to present its debut product Jose at the CES, the Consumer Electronic Show, in 2019, alongside a plaque for winning one of the show's innovation awards. But neither of those things happened. The CTA, the Consumer Technology Association, the organizers behind this flagship trade show, revoked the award and the company's ability to exhibit at the show. They called it an immoral and obscene product. Remember, this is the same Consumer Electronics Show that has booed babes at their shows. That's hypocritical. But Laura and her mostly female team would not have any of that. She successfully lobbied for sexual health devices to be included in a trade show in January of 2020 and had its reward reinstated in the process. Laura said in an interview that previously it was mostly male CEOs, designers, and engineers designing products for vaginas. Now we're seeing a shift away from that model with more women, gender non-conforming and LGBTQ plus people taking charge and designing products that actually work for us. So in the future, she thinks, we're going to be in a completely new age of creativity and technology that is way more inclusive of what gives someone pleasure. Two years ago, Heather Morrison, a marketing strategist, and her brother Andrew were talking about Andrew's dating experiences as a gay man with a disability when Heather made a startling discovery. Up until that point, she said she had not realized people living with similar disabilities to her brother couldn't self-pleasure. So they spent the last two years working on concepts to help bridge this glaring gap in the sex toy market by working in partnership with a research and design team from RMIT University in Melbourne, Australia. Now, while their flagship handy joystick only just entered the prototyping phase in November 2020, it is set for pre-sale in August and then for market launch by the end of the year. Now, these two fun entrepreneurs say that, look, mom, no hands, will have a totally new meaning. Kindred Moore is the founder of the company and creator of VDOM, a patent-pending app-connected wearable device. The technology implemented in the VDOM separates it from traditional strap-ons in the sense of being able to be comfortably worn for long periods of time. And through the mobile app integration, it can go from flaccid to erect at the push of a button. 
If you are someone who owns or at one point has owned a strap on, then you know they are not comfortable or discreet and one size definitely does not fit all. And it does not include an option for flaccid versus erect. V-Dong was created with the LGBTQ uh, plus community in mind and at the forefront. During the research and development process, Kindred Moore realized that this product would be equally needed for individuals with certain physical disabilities and individuals who suffer from erectile dysfunction. She's currently collaborating with Heather Morrison from The Handy Company. Now, pre-sale is scheduled for August of this year of this product, which is not cheap, but it's very exciting. Now, there are many, many more sexual wellness companies founded and run by women. I just want to mention a few more, like the Linus, the first and only biofeedback vibrator that provides data on arousal and orgasm from one's own body. I did a review on that product and uh, you will see a link to it at the end of this video. Or Caroline Spiegel's company Quinn, an audio porn site centered around pleasure for all. Quinn is on a mission to prove that there's more to porn than the visual aspect. She created an app that offers different voices, accents, categories, and playlists that all centered on one of our arousal sources, audio. Or Cindy Gallup's company, Make Love Not Porn, which she launched in 2009 with a four minute TED talk. And in 2013, turned it into the world's first user generated, human curated social sex video sharing platform to promote consent, communication, good sexual values and good sexual behavior. I highly recommend you watch that four minute TED talk from hers. You can imagine the obstacles she ran into trying to raise funds for her mission of showing real sex versus porn sex. She is now raising the world's first dedicated sex tech fund. This is quite a group of women and companies and ideas and uh, it was so liberating and inspirational and exciting to look these women up and um, it is an honor for me to introduce you to them. And if you're one of these women who, who is taking her sexual, sexual wellness seriously at this point and wants to look into some products that could help her find her unique sexuality, then you know these women are in your corner. And if you need any help on this search for your sexuality and recognizing your pleasure, then you know I'm in your corner. Contact me. And I will see you next week. Bye.